Well, hello, rail fans and history buffs. Today is the 50th anniversary of when they did the jet rail car test from Butler to Stryker, Ohio, on the uh, New York Central. Now it's owned by Norfolk Southern these days, but I'm going to retrace part of the route that the jet bud rail car did. It was known as the Black Beetle. So let's get started. Right now I'm in downtown Butler. So let's get started showing you part of the route today. Hopefully this works. The uh, speed of it went up to 195 miles an hour. Wow, that's not very good. Baka. Alright. Hopefully that'll hold. I'll have to restart the video probably a couple of times because it only takes 10 minutes of video each uh, video every uh, 10 minutes. So I'll have to restart the video to take part of the route at least to the Indiana border. Here we go. This is parallels the railroad tracks. Oh. The railroad tracks are right over there. Whoops. make a spur. But as you can see, it parallels the railroad tracks. As you can see, there's not much out here even today. There's a little bit of farms and a couple of businesses, but really not all that much stuff. two Corvair bomber uh, jet engines. They needed uh, high speed, uh, they needed a way to make 5,000 horsepower very easily. And so they found some cheap engines for $5,000 that were old uh, bomber engines from a Corvair bomber. And they strapped them on the top of a bug rail car, and which is like half engine, normally diesel powered half passenger car. They probably used them for inner city travel. I mean in between cities. Maybe. But between Butler, Indiana, 
where the speed record was actually set. It was somewhere outside of Butler here where they put the speed trap. On its uh, down whale it went, or uh, as they were slowing down, it set 186 miles an hour, but at one point it had reached 195 miles an hour during its run. It was, um, the lead designer's uh, wife, I think, also designed uh, the prow for uh, the Bud rail car. As you can see, it's right by the railroad tracks here. See how close those tracks are? like we have some kind of bridge go under there at one point, probably a river. Oh, joy. Well, I'm going to try. Looks like my battery's running low. But I'm going to try to at least do this to the Ohio border. Between Butler, Indiana and uh, Toledo, Ohio is one straight track. Oh, here we go. Here's the Ohio border. We'll see how far we can trace this. The speed limit here is 55, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how far this goes. Yeah. If these cars ever decide to get up to the speed limit. But we're now into Ohio. Probably by this point, it was probably doing well over 70 miles an hour with that jet engine on it by this point. I'm just retracing part of the route. Brian's about another 20 miles. I don't think we're going to make another 20 miles. But we'll see. Oh, here's a freight train. Norfolk Southern pulling what looks like a freight pool. gentleman over the weekend in the, um, at my job, he was one of the customers, uh, said he lived two blocks from the tracks uh, when they did the jet car test back in uh, 1968 on this day, or 1966, excuse me. It was uh, July 28, 1966. Today is uh, 2016. It's an anniversary. But he said by the time it hit Edgerton, it was full tilt. And boy, it really made the people in Edgerton happy, which we're now crossing through. All right, we'll cut off here and, and uh, we'll start another video.